Hi, welcome to another episode of Talking with Docs. I'm Dr. Paul Zalzal. I'm Dr. Brad Wayne. So, Journal Club today. Yep. Interesting journal article. About COVID. You know what, I'm, you know, we're all kind of sick of sure. talking about COVID. It's real though. However, um, I think this is an important article and we can extrapolate. We can. Which means to extrapolate from COVID to other respiratory illnesses. For sure. Okay. Take these results and apply it to, I think, just about any respiratory illness. Okay. Physical activity and risk of infection, severity, and mortality of COVID-19, a systematic review, and nonlinear dose response meta-analysis of data from 1,853,610 adults. And this is published in the Journal of Sports Medicine. Okay. In 2022. So, so does activity protect you from disease and death? That's the question. I'm going to venture a guess and say that it probably does. Yeah. Thanks for watching. <laughs> no. Okay. So obviously physical activity is good for you for so many things. And that's why we say it all the time. Yeah. And that's why we're sponsored by exercise. That's us, right? The CEO of exercise. Big exercise. She had me on her yacht last week, actually. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Except we had to row. So yeah, we're not sponsored by anyone. But we're telling you that physical activity is good. And this is a journal article that actually uh, goes towards proving it using a meta-analysis where they looked at a bunch of studies and right. over 1.8 million individuals right. and correlated physical activity with risks of COVID. And we talked about this before. So meta-analysis is they search a bunch of studies, take all the good studies, and then they're similar. They put them together and that increases the power or the reliability because there are more patients in the study. There you go. Okay. So what did they find? Did they find that the risk of getting or catching, getting infected by COVID was reduced? It was, it was reduced by 11%. Okay, so you have less chance of catching COVID. That's did, a good thing. Did it show that if you are physically active, you have a less chance of getting hospitalized? It did, 36% reduction in hospitalization. Okay. Did they find that if you're physically active, you have less of a chance of getting a severe illness from COVID? 34% reduction in severe illness. Okay, and here's the doozy. The doozy. The doozy. Did they find that if you take part in physical activity, you have less of a chance of dying from COVID? 43% reduction in your risk of death. All right. Which is pretty impressive. That is pretty good. This is not a pharmacologic agent. Obviously, these are self-reported physical activities in these types of studies, and it really is any kind of activity with the thought being somewhere in the 75 to 150 minute per week area, which we've talked about before. Yeah, and, and we're not talking about you know running marathon training for an Ironman. It's not Orange Theory or CrossFit. No, this is basically brisk walking. Brisk walking can count towards a physical activity. Absolutely. So do something. So it's not that difficult to achieve this level of physical activity. However, the results can be astounding and protect you from COVID-19 and we can extrapolate. I would say diabetes, high blood pressure, heart disease, potentially cancer, and yeah. keep, your, keep you at a healthy weight. It's so many benefits, make you happier. Yeah, yeah. But what I was getting at was oh. that we can extrapolate to other respiratory illnesses too. Sure. There's a lot of respiratory illnesses that, out there that can harm you as much or even worse than COVID. So I think that if it's doing this much protection against COVID, it's probably gonna help against many of the other respiratory illnesses. Important right now, because this is the season for respiratory illnesses. Tis the season. So get up off your feet and jump around. Right. Jump up. I think House of Pain sang that song. <laughs> Remember, you are in charge of your own health. We'll see you next time. Thank you.